Uh, welcome back to the Shades of Blue Soccer Show. Uh, I have with me today uh, head coach of Sporting Kansas City 2, Paulo Nagamura, uh, Sporting Kansas City first team player for a long time and taker of many penalty kicks that mean things. Uh, how are you today, coach? Good, Ted. Good, Ted. Thank you. Uh, uh, it's been, uh, it's been uh, a good week of training. Uh, but yeah, we're we're doing well here in, at Swope, preparing the team for this next uh, weekend's game against Louisville. You know, say the the office looks familiar there. Did that used to be Peters? Yes, this used to be Peters. Now it's uh, SKCU two stuff uh, yeah, room. Yeah, when uh, I used to always try to look at those boards behind him to see like who he was going to be recruiting. <laughs> <laughs> well, should I? Should I? Blank this out? No. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> we can't see it from here. Um, it was, uh, speaking of the team, uh, good game in um, Indy. I mean, I know it came up short, but the team looked really good. Yes, yes, we, we did well. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's, I always say it's a point when you, when you, when you play well and you, and you, you have the team discipline to what you, your strategy and your game plan is, and you come up short. Uh, but with all things considered, I think we played against uh, a quality opposition, uh, a team that probably uh, is going to be uh, one of the top teams in USL this year. Uh, and when you are able not only to compete, but uh, to steal the three points, uh, Playing at their stadium, uh, I think it's a good sign, and uh, I truly, I truly believe that uh, we 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 could st we could have stolen a few points to playing at Indy. I think the play the players did well, uh, but unfortunately, and uh, it's just like game it is, right? It's it, it's 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 decided on details, and unfortunately, um, again was uh, wasn't uh, wasn't a complete performance, if I say we we had a few mistakes that that lead us, that lead lead them to to win in the game at the end. Um, yeah, some of those mistakes. I mean, I, you know, I'm not trying to excuse mistakes, but a couple of those were made by pretty young guys who are getting some of their first professional experiences there too. Uh, I mean, I thought the the keeper Brooks. I mean, that was his second pro game. He, I thought he played really well. Um, you know, the the first goal, Pat, he made the stop and. He didn't have any defense. He felt back at that point, and Pastor was able to just put it in. Um, you know, and I, I don't remember exactly how the second goal went, but he was he played he played really well. I thought a lot of those guys actually played well, and again, they're just getting that experience. That's that's the challenge you have as the as the coach of SKC two, though, right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I always say that, and I I always like to come back because sometimes people just see results and they see lineups, they see names, but they they don't. They don't know the inside of what we we are lining up uh, as a team. We have Brooks Thompson who who made his professional debut uh, playing away uh, in Indy. Uh, not his professional. Debut. I think he played one one game last year, last year, but uh, he did very well against Indy. Very solid. Very composure. Very confident. Very secure. Um, uh, we have Cave who, who came out from our academy. And this year, play uh, is, is his second year, and is, is showing a lot of signs of improvement already. Uh, Jake Davis, who we recently signed to a professional uh, deal with us, who our, as well is being improving a lot every 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 time we, we see him play, he is, shows enormous amount of uh, uh, development. Uh, and all the other different guys that we brought in, right? We have Enoch, who was a younger kid from uh, from from Africa, who just started his first professional game. Uh, Wilson Harris, uh, Danny Barbier, the two Croatian players, Peter and Dom. Um, all those kind of players that we 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 have here in our team, that are really young, uh, and we we. We still get a, get away of that uh, get away at that game, uh, feeling that we should get more points than we what we got. I think it was again it was a very, a very good performance as a team, playing in a tough environment. And and even though 
we play young kids, young talent, and uh, kids that have a lot to learn. Yeah, I think we we really play as a man. We play as a as a as a team that knew what we we're doing and knew uh, what what they were facing. I would, I would agree. Um, I, I watched that game pretty closely. Well, I watched the first half really closely. I was distracted during the second half, but I went back and watched most of that second half later. And it just looked like a very well-organized team. Again, they were outplayed by some guys who were much older and more experienced in some cases. But uh, several of them well impressed me of how well they did in, in some of their first appearances. Um, speaking of Wilson, I mean, he's I think he's got 11 goals in his last 13 games, um, something like that pretty close to that and you know he was he's doing so well is um what has he got to well first of all how's his health and and then what does he have to do to maybe take that next step to to get a look at the first team i mean i think one good sign about wilson is that he's consistently scoring and we all know wilson wilson is a player that he's gonna have a half a chance and he's gonna get it he's gonna put the ball behind the net and that's a great quality to have as a as a center forward um, and I think he's putting himself in a position uh, that he wants to be, right? He's getting games, he's scoring goals, he's playing well. So uh, it's, he's doing all the right things. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully in the future, he, he gets a chance. It's hard for me to say what does he need to do. I think he's doing a lot of good things right now. He's being consistent. He's been uh, he's scoring goals. That's 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 key for him as well. But uh, he just that keep that get, keep that form going and and wait for his chance and his opportunity. And when he has that, when he have that opportunity with the first team, uh, take it with the best with his best shot. Uh, I, I noticed he came off. How's his health? Was he was he injured or? Yeah, he cramped out. I think uh, being a first game. Uh, after the, the the league came back, I think we are not on top of our, our our of our fitness level. But playing as well, our first game on turf didn't help a couple of guys. We had a couple of guys that cramped out at the end there. But uh, guys are ready. I think they recovered this this past few days. They're 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 training hard this week and they're they're preparing our, they're preparing themselves for for another. Uh, big battle that's going to be uh, two games in Louisville against a very good Louisville team. So I was, I was saying, can you preview that that game at all? That next game? I, it's going to be another battle, and I say to the guys in the locker room, we, we we're going to have 15 battles. Uh, we're going to have we, we we got in a group that is a very strong group with St. Louis in 11 and Louisville, and. Uh, with that being said, with most of the games being on the road, we 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 have to take every game as a war, as a battle, because it's not gonna be easy to get points on the road against those teams. Uh, and against Louisville, even though they played their first two and they lost the first two at home, I think they're a very strong team. They're they're a team that that likes to play. Uh, they're a team that encourage about. Uh, encourage you with their new stadium, with the build of the new stadium, and they're trying to do something special there. So I'm expecting a very tough match, a team that is, is, is hunger for, for a home win, and, and we have to match up that intensity and that work when we step on the, game, on the field Saturday. Yeah, the, the schedule makers didn't do you any favor when they set up the groups, and then, then your uh, uh, almost consistent road trip here. Um, because like you said, they're, they're all pretty strong teams. I mean, Indian and Louisville were both near the top last year and look to be the same this year. And St. Louis looks like they've actually improved maybe. Um, and I mean, you can be a much better team from last year and still be kind of up there, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, but I, I, I look, on a, I look on, a, on a bright picture. I, I look on a, on, a, on a positive picture, right? It's what the, what, what the players, what our young players are, are experienced uh, the, in these games is is some real competition. Is some is some uh, some good teams, teams that have players with a lot of experience, MLS experiences. Uh, teams that are there. We play against men. We play against 29, 30, 31 year old players. So uh, what our players are experiencing, it's it's exactly what we what they need to. 
So yes, uh, if you see on that on that point of view, yes, we're playing against some tough com competition. But at the same time, when I look at last game and I see that we can perform and we can we can compete and we can take points away from those teams, it's a very good sign of what we're doing here as a club. So again, it's a great experience for the young players and that's exactly what they need. Um, I don't know if you can answer this question, but was there was there any reason why you guys only got one home game when they revamped the schedule? Uh, I mean, it, it, I'd rather not not touch base on that question, but it is what it is. Okay, let's say let's say the club, let's the club decide to go that way, and we support the club and uh, with all our forces, and uh, we know that whatever the club decide to do, we're we're behind them. So uh, it is what it is, and I, again, I see on a positive uh, note, and I see that those road games, uh, those road games will bring. Uh, enormous benefit for our players. No, I, I, I agree. It would definitely be a challenge, and they'll, they'll learn from it. Um, this, this may be another year we have to not look at the uh, end result of win-losses, but as much as the growth of players and the guys who promote to the next team. Um, with, the, with the academy having been laid off for a while now, how is, is that affecting, like, which academy guys you might be looking at to add for the future, or...? Yeah, look, it's been this year has been very tricky, and uh, and I say tricky because we haven't we haven't heard yet uh, details of how the DA season is going to look like. We know that our season is going to have we're going to have 15 games, but with this testing and bubble and uh, DA season, not sure yet. We, there's a lot of question marks, so we we're waiting on the on the confirmation from the league. And confirmation of how their season is going to look like to make sure that we're planning ahead and we 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 doing what's the right for 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 our players for especially the younger play, younger academy players. And I know Peter always talks ultimately that he wants to feel the full eleven of homegrown guys that came through the academy. Um, how many reasonably do you expect like each year to promote from the academy to sign a an FKC two? You know, I mean, I, I'm not saying there's a hard number that you got to always have or something like that, but what would be a reasonable number to come out of the academy each year to kind of fill that pipeline up? It, 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 I don't think there's a right number to it. I think because you got to see in a big picture, you see, uh, of course, you're going to always take the, the, the talent players that we have here that we believe that there's chance to do, to make uh, the jump to MLS and help. Uh, the first team. Uh, so to give you an exact number, uh, I think would not be fair because it can be a year that we have five, six guys that we're going to sign it. And it probably, there's going to be another year that we're probably going to sign one or two. So it depends with, with, with the talent that we have, the, the, the depth of, of, of first team squad, the positions that they need, right? All those little details. But what, what makes us feel uh, not only proud but optimistic it's like watching the game this morning and seeing Felipe Hernandez step step into the game playing well and help we help the first team win game so uh, again that's what that's what makes us go in and and again if we have to sign one or two we'll sign one or two if we sign five or six we find sign five or six but this is the goal is to is to make sure that we're pushing guys in the right direction and uh, not only developing them, but also helping helping the first team win games on the weekends. And it, it was good to see Felipe get in there because uh, he he brought some energy and he, he played well. I mean, it wasn't just an energy thing. He he did some he did a lot of right things in there. I think he's uh he's probably one of the few guys that could not necessarily be Roger Espinosa, but he can he fits the mold probably better than anybody else on the team at this point. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're really happy for Felipe. We're really happy for him. Um, I, kn I know, like you said, this, everything about this year has been challenging for, for everybody. Um, how has it been trying to keep your players, you know, the guys that are signed to you, that, um, how, to keep them, you know, motivated in training? And, you know, what have you been able to do when you couldn't have training? Look, we well, what I can say is that the group that we have this year is is very special. 
we I think the, the group of players really understand the situation that we are at and they understand uh, where they stand in terms of playing on a second team that they need to work they need to uh, work extra to to achieve the the steps that they want to achieve so with saying that I think the players have been uh, phenomenal in terms of doing individual trainings, uh, small side, uh, small group trainings. They all did really, really well uh, in the uh, early stages of the, the COVID. So uh, it's, 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 again, it, this group is really special and I hopefully we can keep that for the entire year because it's only going to take uh, benefits for them. It's going to make them better players, going to make them evolve and develop and and again, that's that's the key here for us. That's that's what we want to try to make those guys players, better players, so, so they can uh, so they can uh, achieve their successes, achieve their 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 goals as a as a soccer players. I know you know part of the purpose of this team is for guys to to be loaned down from the first team to get some time to maybe rehab or get minutes or whatever it takes. But uh, it also some sometimes seems like that throws off the rhythm a little bit. Is it, all, is it almost been nice that those guys have been in a bubble and you guys have been in your own bubble and you can you can focus on just this core group of players without without having somebody switched in and out at the last second? I mean, if, if there's pros and cons always, right? It's if if you if you're looking to build a team chemistry and make sure that you you're really working with a close group and you really have more control of what you have it yes it's it's better because now you can work on something that that group of players are missing or 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 lacking or need to work on uh but also with the, it that you gotta see the other side maybe there's guys there on the first team that are needing in need of games like jay lindsay or or Cousin, or, or whatever, all those guys, Tyler Freeman, guys are not getting games now that they could have games with us to help their keep going and help the first team as well. So there's pros and cons, and being as a head coach of a second team, you have to balance with that, and that's what we try to do. Yeah, you, you'll probably see some of those guys back in a couple of weeks, but uh, hopefully it'll be a couple of weeks. I don't know how much longer it takes to, to win the MLS back tournament, but... We're counting on that, right? Yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully they go all the way to the final. They win the tournament. That's that's what we're hoping for. I think if they're there and they're they they're there already, so we we hope that they they go all the way to the final, win the competition, and and we can deal with whatever it's next later. So uh, again, this morning was a very good result, and and we're really happy that they, we, we we went to the next the next round. So. Uh, Changing tack a little bit. Um, how about you on a personal level? How how have you felt that you've grown as a coach? I mean, I you know you were you were always like a kind of a coach on the field when you were playing because you were very uh, vocal sometimes or telling people what to do. You were you were that veteran leadership. How you know you you've been coaching for a couple of years now. How does it feel? You, how have you grown and where do you go from here? You know, do, how do you enjoy this? Well, uh, first of all, what I can say, I'm, I'm enjoying every second. And what I, in my view, I think it's coaching is about experiences. And, and the more you coach, the more you're going to grow, the more you're going to evolve, the more you're going to prepare. Uh, and I think uh, for sure, I'm more prepared now than I was a year ago or two years ago. So, uh, I'm loving the experience. I'm loving the, the role that I'm having right now. And this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to evolve and be a better coach every day uh, for whatever whatever the next step is going to be, right? It's, we, I, we have to keep evolving as a person, as a professional, uh, as a human. And, and that is not different, uh, in my opinion, being as a coach. And uh, you have to do your best uh, right now, but with with the intention of evolving and getting better in the future. So, uh, again, I'm enjoying every second. Uh, I love this club, uh, and and I'm really happy in the role that I'm having right now. Uh, funny, the the last three guys I've talked to, well, you, Christian Duke, 
uh, Jake Davis have all issued that, have all made that exact statement. I love this club. It's, uh, I mean, you know, on the outside of it, I, I can see why, but it's, it's really good to hear that from the inside of it. And it's a good sign, right? It's a, look, when you, when you have players, when you have players, and I can, I can say this because I grew up with Sao Paulo and I play for the Sao Paulo system. When you play for a club that you really have feelings for it, you play with passion. And when you play with passion, it's a, a whole entire different animal. You, you really defend the colors of the club. You really defend your team when you step of it. Not that, not that the others, not that the others don't defend, but that extra, when you have that feeling for the club, you, you are willing to do anything or everything that is in your power to help that team win. And, and it's, it's very good to have players in our system, in our club, that really think like that and really have that passion for the club they play for. So it, it's, a, it's a very good sign. Yeah, I agree. And, and another thing I like, um, I talked to Christian actually last week on the bus while you guys were headed to Indy. But um, one of the things he was talking about was he was helping coach the academy now. And so now, I mean, I feel like, you know, you have went from playing for the first team and you're helping coach the, the second team and, and by extent academy players also. And Christian played for the first team and the second team and he's helping coach academy guys. And it's kind of that legacy, um, building you're not only building player depth but you're building coaching depth at the same time is it, i don't know if that's a, a a plan thing from peter or if it's just help developing organically you know what i mean you know peter peter <laughs> is a true leader and he knows everything he's doing it so uh hopefully hopefully everything that he's planning is gonna he's gonna collect some fruits uh in the future but for sure uh, what I can say from knowing Peter is that he has a plan and he knows how to 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 get to that end of result. So uh, hopefully we all doing the right things here and and in the future we are, we're we're collecting a lot of fruits for this club. Yeah, trust me, I did expect that it was being done by intent, not just by accident. Knowing Peter, I'm sure he's got a plan of how many guys he wants going from playing to coaching someday. He's probably got that written down somewhere. Someday I'll, get, I'll need to get him to show me those plans. Think that'll work? <laughs> you got to ask him. Yeah, probably not. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, I, I don't want to take up too much of your time, Coach. I, I mean, I, I do appreciate any time you give, give me, and uh, maybe I'll try to bug you next week in between games again just to get a little bit of an update. Um, again, thank you for joining us. And is there anything I should have been smart enough to ask you today? You know, any, any good breaking news you have or any scoops you want to deliver? No breaking news. All the gear, all the players are good. Uh, we will prepare. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna train one more time, and and then Friday travel to to Louisville to play this two games in Louisville. Uh, so we will be ready. And thanks again for for having me here in your in your show in your podcast. Uh, and it's always a pleasure whenever you need me. <laughs>